Alright, so today we're taking on a challenge to kill one of each species on Hemeldal, each with a different bow, and that includes shooting an airborne ptarmigan out of the air with a bow, which I've done before, and I think I'm actually going to try to prioritize that one and get it done first, so that I don't end up having to shoot one out of the air with a cable-backed bow again, because that kind of sucked, but I did it, it was fine, we got it done. Now I think I'm going to try to get a male of each one of these species, with the exception of the ptarmigan, the fox, and the lynx. The lynx will be a challenge enough just to get one with the bow, and then the fox and the ptarmigan are pretty well the same size regardless of whether they're male or female. And I think that's all that I have to talk about, so let's just go ahead and get into it. it looks like the first animal off of our list is going to be the roe deer, and we're going to try to take it with the longbow. Now the dog is walking back to me, so hopefully it doesn't spook it before I get a shot. Okay, perfect. Oh, there's a reindeer right there, too. I can't really tell if that was a male or not. I want to save the snake bite for the ptarmigan. So I'm going to grab, I think the Parker Python is what I'm going to go with for the reindeer, if that's a male. Which I do believe it was a small male. And it didn't spook when I shot that roe deer, which is good. Yeah, it is a male. Aw, oh, god damn it. Alright, well, I'll, tra I'll track it down. The dog spooked it is what happened there. I had it going out looking for ptarmigans. Which, as you can probably hear, they're kind of everywhere. We'll go ahead and pick our roe deer up. That'll get our first animal off the list. I'll make sure I know where that reindeer track is. And then I'm going to try to shoot a couple of these ptarmigans next. And I'll then I'll go after that reindeer. Sounds like... Oh, I got one. Okay. I didn't think I was going to hit him on that angle, but... That's the ptarmigan out of the way. That was a pretty good shot. I don't know if I've ever killed one of these out of the air with the snake bite. I've done it with the longbow. I've done it with the cable backed. I've done it with the recurve. I don't think I've ever done it with the snake bite. That's a first for me. To be fair, it's not nearly as impressive as some of the other bows, but... It's done. So that gets another one off our list. Now, I'm pretty sure I lost that reindeer track because I kind of got distracted trying to get that done, so... I'm probably just going to ignore that and hopefully run into another one on the way. And then maybe try to find some lynx tracks, get the next hardest one out of the way. And then just kind of see if I can stumble upon a moose on the way, maybe a bear. I think that's what I'm going to do. Focus on the lynx and then hopefully some of the other ones cross my path while I go. So I did manage to catch up with our bull reindeer again, and we're going to go ahead and take him with the cable back bow once he gets a little bit closer. I have a feeling that this is probably going to end in a tracking job. I've never been very good at dropping the reindeer with the, the traditional bows, the long bow and the cable backed. But we might get lucky. I'm going to go for the neck bone shot, that seems to be my luckiest drop point with those two bows. If he'd just come up from behind that rock and give me a shot. The ptarmigans are just everywhere. Flying right over me, right past me. Of course, they were never this close when I was actually trying to shoot them with the bow, but... Whatever. That's, that's just how it goes. Kinda like how this reindeer won't move when I want him to. Come on. Seriously though, why are you just standing there? Come on. I guess we just wait. I don't know. Okay, there we go. He's moving again. I'm gonna let him get a little bit closer. Probably next time he stops is when I'll take my shot. Or I'll shoot him on the walk if he's coming right at me. But he should turn, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I figured I'd have to track him. We did get lung blood though, so shouldn't be too bad. He'll probably go 
250 meters and then I'll find him dead if I don't chase him. So I'll just go give him a minute and I'll see you guys when we've got him on the ground. There we go. Obviously he's not going to score very high, but that gets the reindeer off of our list anyway. Right lung shot, 261, 20 GMs. Not great, but like I said, gets him off our list. So that just leaves us with the lynx, the moose, the fox, and the brown bear, I believe. Yes, that should be it. So we're going to keep heading north, hopefully find some lynx tracks, maybe run into some bears. I haven't seen much for moose, but up in the north is usually pretty good, so... If not, I'll probably go to the east for the foxes, and there's pretty good moose population over there as well, so... I'm not really going to directly target the moose, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to just run into one of them. Same with the brown bear. Haven't seen much from lynx yet, so hopefully I can find some tracks and that'll be the next thing that we kind of actually actively try for. Oh shit. Just looking down. That. Oh, I totally whipped that shot. I've been I've been sitting here with the e-collar for like an hour and a half. I didn't think he'd come in that fast. I'm like sitting here eating chocolate. Waiting for that thing to come in. That scared the hell out of me. I was like looking down. And then I looked up and that thing was 20 meters away. It's fine, whatever. I hit it. It's gonna die. We've gotta track it now, but... That should get that animal off our list. That's a good sized cat too. That actually made me jump. Just body blood, but he's gonna go down. It was a bow shot. At, le at least we got it done. I didn't even think I was gonna be able to get him. Because he's a max weight track. Alright. We'll just track him down. Give him some time to die. There we go. Lynx is down. Hopefully he does end up being a big one. Not, not the best shot on my part, but I panicked. Whatever. It's fine. He's dead. Let's have a look. 31 kg. 9.4, so not very big. 107 GMs, though. And that gets the lynx off our list, which leaves us just with the fox, the moose, and the brown bear. Which shouldn't be too difficult. I think we'll probably head to the east side of the map now. Because that should be slightly better populations for all three of those animals. We've got just... Alright, looks like we're about to get the moose off of the list as well. We're going to take this guy with the heavy recurve. As soon as he gets a little bit closer. Usually the sweet spot for the heavy recurve is about 20, about 15, 20 meters. So we'll see when he stops, he should be pretty well where I want him. Actually, that should be good right there. And... Hopefully that was double lung or lung liver, because he'll go down right away if it was. And... yep, there we go, he's down. And that'll get the moose off our list, leaving us just with the brown bear and the fox. I don't think he's gonna- well, obviously he's not a very big moose, I think he's gonna be probably... My guess would be 102 on the score. 400.9 kg, 100, so I was 100.7, so I was 1.3 points off. I'm going to call that a pretty good guess. But we're going to go ahead and work our way a little bit further south. Usually the good fox area is kind of around here. Hopefully there's some bears in the area. Bears seem to, I don't know what it is, brown bears just hate me. I've never had good brown bear luck. So that might be... That might be where I struggle with this one, is finding a male brown bear. But I don't think we'll have too much too much trouble finding a female or a male fox down there. And hopefully I can get on some male brown bear tracks as well. I think I can hear a bear, but I can't really tell where it's coming from. There's a reindeer over there as well. Yeah, you know, there's definitely a bear over there. Oh, it's right there. Okay. I have the recurve. I don't know if that's gonna be. I just should spot it and see if it's a male first. I think I did say I wanted the male bear. And it is a male, okay. 
Let's see if I can get it with the recurve from here. That's kind of a far shot for this bow. Okay, that was a little low. Actually, a little bit over to the side. That actually didn't look half bad. I think it was a little bit too far forward to be a lung, but... Shoulder blade for sure. It'll be a fairly quick killing body shot. I'm pretty sure it was body blood. I do kind of want to have a look and see if I can find the male reindeer in this group, unless it's... Every now and again you do see a solo female, which is kind of odd, but that is actually looking like what this scenario is. So I'm just going to poke over to the blood, have a look at what that looks like. And then we've got a tracking job on our hands. Let's just see. I think this guy here will be the blood. Yeah, and it is body. Alright, I'll just give him some time to die. It'll only be like five minutes and then I'll go track him down. There's the bear down. We'll go ahead and grab him and that should leave us with just the fox left. And I haven't seen any of them. And I was a little bit off with the wound time. Ended up being 24 minutes, actually pretty well 25 minutes. Rather than the 5 minutes that I estimated, but... Whatever, we got him. 62 GMs. Not too bad at all. Now we just need a fox. Well, at least he's hit. And that should be the end of this little bow challenge. I'm actually surprised that that didn't drop him. I have a feeling that wasn't lung, although it looked pretty good, but there was a weird angle on the arrow. It was probably like liver, would be my guess. Wow, it actually didn't even get intestine. Which is surprising, but whatever. He will go down. No problems there. We'll just give him some time to die, and then we'll go grab him. Alright, there he is. The last animal we need to complete this little bow challenge. And it really doesn't look like that bad of a shot. I don't know how that that's not lungs or intestines. Not really sure, but whatever. He's dead. 7 kgs on the dot, 15.346, and 49 GMs. And that's going to be it for our little bow challenge. That was actually a little harder than I expected it to be. Alright, so that concludes our little bow challenge. It was actually more challenging than I expected it to be. Definitely the Tarmigan and the Lynx though, they gave me a bit of a, a bit of a struggle for sure, but all in all I had a good time with it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.